Hey, it's me, Katie, and this week I'm going to be reviewing Demi Lovato's seventh studio album, Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over. Now, I know it sounds like Demi's had a lot of albums, but this is actually the first one that I've listened to all the way through. And I'm really excited to tell you guys about it. But if you want me to review one of her previous albums, be sure to comment that below and maybe I'll do it. Now, I should mention that this was released along with a YouTube four-part documentary, Dancing with the Devil. And while it is not something that you need to listen to to understand the album, I feel like it gives you a lot of insight into Demi's hardships and her struggles over the past two years that add a lot of personal touch to the album. So like I said, you don't have to watch it, but I would recommend it if you're gonna listen to this album because they really do go hand in hand. So with 19 tracks, this is a long album, which seems to be on trend with artists like Taylor Swift and Drake all releasing albums with 15 tracks or more. And it kind of boils down to more songs equals more streams and more streams equals more money. And I would love to do a whole video about streaming. So be sure to look out for that one. And I really go back and forth with the whole more songs, more streams, because I get it financially, but artistically, sometimes, like I mentioned in my Lover video, more songs isn't always better for the album. It feels like even with this album, some songs could have been cut out to make the album overall stronger, especially with the vision that Demi was going for. That being said, I'm gonna try to touch on as many songs as I can and kind of give you my opinions, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I thought, worked, what didn't work, potential singles, all that fun stuff. So let's get into it. So this album does a really good job of meeting Demi where she is and where she was. Like anyone is a really great opening track. It's very stripped down, a ballad. You can hear the desperation and vulnerability in Demi's voice and it kind of gives you a foreshadowing of what you can expect from this album. It wasn't personally one of my favorites, but I definitely couldn't imagine this album without this song starting it off. And it flows right into Dancing with the Devil, which again, it does a good job at setting the story and it's a little bit more produced, which this album does a good job at flowing between like ballad, stripped back guitar, piano to more produced, either poppy, like sad or pop, like confident kind of songs. So these two songs leading kind of gives you both sides of what this album is going to be. Uh, personally, I prefer the side of the stripped back stuff, especially the sensitive topics that Demi's talking about, like her overdose and her addiction. I feel like letting the lyrics shine does those songs more justice, like I See You and The Way You Don't Look At Me. I love those songs. The Way You Don't Look At Me was one of my instant favorites, so I definitely like the stripped back songs more but flip the coin to like songs like The Art of Starting Over. I feel like it was really nice for that song to be like that. It's got like a nice vibe to it. And I think it's a really good song to like drive around to. It has that like The Art of Starting Over, like the chorus. I really like the first, how the song opens with like, I'm like a watch, I'm unwinding like a clock. It's okay that I don't know what the time is. I'll put it up here in case I didn't get that exactly right, but I like the way she plays with watch, clock, time references, all like that, and it has a really nice flow to it. Another plus to this song, I really like the I Let the Darkness Out outro that kind of keeps repeating until the song fades out. I think it's a nice shift from the tone of the Anyone Dancing with the Devil and I See You, which were more really sad, honest, open songs. This one kind of shows that this album has some kind of upbeat stuff to look forward to. Uh, I mentioned those four songs, but actually in between I See You and The Art of Starting Over, there's an intro. And my opinion on these speaking tracks, I don't really think it works for this album. I don't know. I feel like she didn't have to, she kind of just rehashed the themes of the first three songs and then said that she was starting over. But with a title like The Art of Starting Over, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I don't think she needed to talk us through that, especially the way she did it. It didn't really add anything. She was just kind of summarizing it. And three songs in, we don't really need a summary. And then like songs like um, the kind of that's the kind of lover I am at the end there's this really long kind of like auto tune of her talking about like not caring about who like you are she just wants to love and be loved and all that but then at the very end of that spiel she's kind of like but I don't need anyone right now so I don't really know if that added to the song personally I would have cut the speaking parts I don't think they're natural for this but what do you guys think do you think did you like any of the speaking parts? Like I said, personally, 
I would cut them. I really love the features on this album. I think that they are so great. Like Easy featuring Noah Cyrus is lyrically my favorite song on the album. And I had really liked the way you don't look at me. And, but once I heard Easy, I was like, okay, this one, wow. She starts by saying like, I'll leave through the gift shop. And the hook is, and the hardest part of leaving is to make it look so easy. And like Noah really adds to this song again. They really sing really pretty together. And one of my other favorite lyrics is, our names on the concrete, they're lasting way longer than us. Like the visuals in this song, so good. And just like the piano, the violins, it really goes in. And I like how it ends with the, I'll go through the gift shop, I'm keeping all my souvenirs. Like I just think that was a great example of a song that had that really good full circle. And it just shows like, nothing was solved from that song. They're still just as upset as they started. And that's one of the songs I would definitely recommend listening to if you were looking for one or two and you really like a good sad song, that's a good sad song. The other feature I really liked was What Other People Say. And it's again, it was released as a single and it has a ballad sound with like a breakdown in the chorus. And it's kind of Demi just talking about how she didn't want to turn into all these things that she's become, but she was, she felt like she kind of had to because she cared a lot about what other people say or like other people's opinions. Like a lyric she had was, used to call my mom every Sunday so she knew my love wasn't far away. And that's relatable to anyone who's like living away from home. So I really liked that line. And I think while it's a feature that Demi really does carry this song, even though I still think it works as a feature, if that makes sense. Now, a couple songs that I didn't like as well were Melon Cake. I felt like the story was there, but the production was like happy and she sounded really upset. So I feel like it didn't work as well as the happy, sad song, Lonely People or the lyrics in The Way You Don't Look At Me. I feel like both those songs did what this song was trying to do. So didn't really like that song. And Met Him Last Night featuring Ariana Grande. For me, this is probably my least favorite song on the album. I don't know if that's controversial or not. It just, it was written by Ariana Grande and I personally didn't know that when I heard it, but when I heard it, I was like, this song doesn't feel like it connects to Demi's story. It feels like it's a little vague. Sure, it references the devil, but that's kind of it. It doesn't do anything that any of the other songs had done. It's kind of just a song that anyone could have featured on, anyone could have sang. It didn't feel as specific to Demi as the rest of these songs. And then hearing that Ariana Grande wrote it and not Demi, I feel like that just proved the point of it not being personal enough. So. I would have cut this song. I don't know. Maybe that's a little far, but I probably would. The second half of the album probably had more consistent favorites for me. Like California Sober has big like album closer energy because it's Demi saying like, even though she knows she has work to do, that isn't the final step. She still has a lot of growing and changing to do and she's ready to do that. So it's a step in the right direction. And then the song Butterfly again makes more sense if you know about Demi's history. like her relationship with her dad, because in this song, she kind of talks about what it was like to lose her dad and how she's kind of, again, had this closure of like seeing him like as a butterfly flying high above her. And I kind of wish this chorus was more than just her repeating butterfly a couple times, but I think the bridge makes up for that. Like she kind of really goes into that like relationship, like she feels him now kind of emotion that I wanted in the chorus, she doesn't in the bridge, so. Also, again, the song, this album starts with anyone, which is her just feeling like nobody's listening. And it ends with Good Place, which is just her kind of summing up the album and feeling like she's been through all of this stuff, but now she's in a really good place. While it wasn't my favorite song on the album compared to some of the other ones, I really wouldn't cut it because I feel like it does a good job at like wrapping up the album, putting a bow on it and showing where she is now. I really like when Demi would talk about and like carefully and the kind of lover I am and my girlfriends are my boyfriend, just like how positive and confident she was in herself. I feel like songs like that are really empowering and I like that she tied that into this album about starting over, kind of like embracing who she is. So, so far the singles on this album are 
anyone, Dancing with the Devil, and What Other People Say. And if you ask me what songs I would think would be good singles, I would say My Girlfriends Are My Boyfriend would be one because it's a very like Seven Rings girl power kind of song that would be fun to dance to with like your friends. And I think that would be a really good single. It doesn't match the sound of the album as much, but I feel like it does a good job at like being a single, so. Another one would be Lonely People. Lonely People, again, was one of my favorite songs on this album. I feel like it's like it's reminiscent of like Paramore's fake happy but instead of being fake happy it we're all lonely people and we all die alone and one of my favorite lyrics on this was Romeo and Juliet are dead it's just kind of funny because they say it like really happy you kind of don't expect that from this song and the last one I think would be a good single is Easy. I already talked about how much I love Easy, and I think since it's featuring Noah Cyrus, it would just be like a good like radio song or something like that. And it's a good ballad, heartbreak song, and people like those songs on the radio. And it's not too slow where people wouldn't like wanna vibe out to it. I went back and forth on what I wanted to give this album because I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. It has a lot of great moments of vulnerability, fun, it's just like a lot in this album and I feel like it just like has a really good arc and really shows you everything she was feeling over those past two years or three years now. Wow. And um yeah, so I would have to give it a seven because I really loved or liked like half this album. So I feel like it's only fair to give it like a seven. But what do you guys think? What would you give it? And what songs do you hope to be singles? Be sure to comment that all below and like and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I post. Bye. You thought you were something new You thought you were worth this attention you desire Thought you were worth walking on fire